Hello all, uh, just a quick video for a viewer. I was uh, answering comments here and DJ Dave Diggs asked me, um, hey man, awesome video. I have uh, trouble copying uh, the studs and getting them 16 inches apart from one another. Can you help me out? And I tried to answer it here, but I realized as I was typing, it's really complicated to actually type. It wouldn't be for probably a normal person, but it's easier for me to show you. So I thought I would just do a quick video here. And again, I was working on this uh, little shop building for a customer of atdrafting.com. And so what I did was I just drew out a little wall here to give a demonstration. And let me see if I can stop scrolling. So let's say if this is our wall, and I'm just gonna count them here just so I don't get too many one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do seven. Okay, so let's look at this as being the stud you want to copy. Now, first of all, what I would do is I would make sure it's a component. Uh, this is a group. You can see uh, there. If it's not a group or a component, just select everything that you've drawn and right mouse click and make it a component. The reason for that is is that once you copy all these and you edit it, they will they will all uh, be copacetic. <laughs> I'll show you that in a second. Second in a second. So take your uh, stud and select it. Then go up here and uh, click on the move, the little cross arrows, and. What you're going to do, I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm sorry, the control key, not the shift key, the control key. And I'm just going to start moving it in the direction I want it to go on the axis. Now make sure you're, you know, not in some funky place. Okay. Make sure you're on the axis you want to go. Okay. Now I'm not going to do anything else except type 16. Okay. You see it adjusted itself. Um, and then I'm not going to do anything else after that except type uh, six times six asterisk six. You see, and I left out one. I should have said seven. But let's do that again. I'm going to click on the move. I'm going to select. I'm going to select. I'm trying to do this in a hurry and I can't talk. <laughs> I'm going to select the stud. Okay. Then I'm going to um, select move. Okay. I'm going to select my corner right here. I'm going to select a known reference. You know, you're just selecting a reference point. Okay. And I've got the control key held down. Okay. Now, if you don't have the control key held down, you're just going to move that stud instead of copying it. The control key makes it copy instead of move. Okay, so I'm just going to move it in the direction I want it to go. You see, if I if I go over here and I say 16, you see it's going to move it in the direction that I move my cursor, my you know my pointer. Okay, so what you want to do is um, uh, uh, select your stud, select the corner, hold the control key down and move and I'm assuming you'll have your bottom plate already drawn so you can use that corner as a reference and you see it's just kind of dragging along. Now you can just type in the the inches 16. You don't have to use the inch mark because if you selected the template inches or architecture uh, template then it assumes 16 is inches. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do anything else. My hands are right here. I'm going to go immediately and type star, uh, asterisk, which is shift eight, and seven this time. So basically what you're saying is time seven. Okay, and that boom. See, they all copied up in there. Maybe I should do it in a view that you can see it happening. So I'm going to go up here. I hate to be repetitive, but I'm not very good at explaining stuff, so. Uh, I can mansplain, but not this very well. Okay, so uh, I've got my 
control key held down. I'm moving it along an axis. I'm not clicking my mouse. I'm just moving it in the direction I want it to go. I'm going to type 16. Okay. Now immediately I'm going to type times 8 or times 7. That's asterisk 7. And boom. Okay. Now the reason you want it to be a component is because let's say your customer or your, your, you're building your house and you decide to raise the ceiling height a foot, okay? So you go in here and you see, I'm gonna raise them up all 12 inches. Boom, you just raised all your studs up 12 inches. And from that point, you just grab your plates, okay? Move them up. And then what I would recommend is obviously um, making all of your studs <laughs> at that point if you made them all. Now you can see this one is going to be, you know, just somewhere near the end. And if this is an exterior wall, or even if it's not, you know, you would have a, a corner on here, but this is a two to six um, wall, so you, you wouldn't need one there. But this is not about corners and T's and other building components you can watch my other video about framing exterior wall corners uh, for that so this is just a quick video i hope that helps and um, the most important thing is really that you create these as components so that you don't waste time i remember when i first started in sketchup that i would just create groups and I, and that very thing that exact thing happened to me I got the whole house finished and the customer wanted to raise the ceiling height of the of the whole first floor. And I literally had to go and I started copying, you know, I started editing each stud and then I realized, oh, this is silly. So I did create a component and then I just copied them all over again. Uh, but after that, she didn't change her mind again. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, just a quick video and I hope that helps. Let me know if it does.